In America, we are being completely and utterly lied to by LinkedIn. I have sent several times at the request of my colleague an invite to a woman who is an author. And as I am also an author and an interviewer of authors and trying to return myself back to interviewing authors, I expect my fucking invite to go through. I am a man who might be homeless. I am a man who might be a business traveler. I am a man who has the right to pursue what I need to do. What makes me ragingly angry are the fools of America who think they have rights to play with a white man or you. When LinkedIn promises a clear connection, why is it that LinkedIn has prevented me from having my content that shows my legal heir in my notes? And why is it that I'm being prevented from reaching out through LinkedIn to connect? Is this abuse of power by the company? Have they changed their content options for people who don't pay to play? What I want to know in America today is who owns our right to connect. Underneath federal law, we are supposed to have the lawful right to reach out to anyone to pursue life, liberty, happiness, and most importantly to most of us, prosperity and legacy. That is the whole purpose of a professional network. Is LinkedIn abating our rights to pursue new contacts or old contacts that we might have mentioned or talked to long ago?